Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Back to Basic. Today we will be going to a village and we will also be remodeling this a little bit. I remember saying that I did come across some jungle wood and I do want to use that in the modeling of that. But first, let's go to the village. Now you guys may have realized that this episode is a day late now this you would have seen this on my Twitter uh, I, I did tell you why it's because I was spending all the time looking for a village that was close by I really looked for a very very long time I'm talking hours and hours but I came to the realization that we're not gonna find one so what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and actually you know what we should do we should clean this up uh, I went ahead and gave ourselves a couple command blocks which look like this. Well, command blocks allow you to put commands in, and then when when they're activated with redstone, that command happens. So what I did is I went ahead and used the TP command for that, and and I I put the TP where a village is. Now I know this is kind of cheating, but like I said, in the sake of of saving time, you guys, it was just the best choice to do. Uh, I kind of I do want to decorate this. I don't know what to decorate it with though. See, because we have the smooth sandstone over there already. Nether maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take four pieces of glue stone and stone should have yep four pieces of this smooth stone and we'll go back down and we'll just make a simple pattern around the outside i kind of like the corners so we're gonna do that we're gonna make it look like, kind of like an x and we're just gonna go boom 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 just so we remember the buttons there so let's go ahead and take this button now this will take us to a world now if you don't know worlds are randomly spawned um they come with a lot of villagers clearly all of which that have different like outfits and there are a lot of different types there's like the the baker the the magic person all that kind of stuff and they they actually made the trades a lot better so now it's rotten flesh for an emerald which is pretty good gold for an emerald 16 raw pork chops for an emerald like it's it's actually pretty practical stuff that guy's obviously a baker uh these are the doctors i believe and hmm i and they they deal with enchanting i guess so i guess it wouldn't be a doctor how many guys okay these are actually not some bad trades uh i figured we'd just check out a few of them now what I really want to show is these naturally spawning farms. Now, naturally spawning farms obviously are great for a food source, right? So let's go ahead and pick up some of these. Um, but they come with all the other food sources as well. So you can see here we have potatoes. And I know I'm taking all their potatoes. It's because um, this chunk won't be loaded when we leave. So these potatoes won't grow without us being near them. And the only reason why we're coming here is to... Um, trade now at least that's that's the plan for now because it's so out of our way that we're, we're not really going to utilize this town but I, I figured i'd show some of this stuff off we'll go ahead and leave the wheat here because it's not super important there's more wheat down there let's go ahead and actually eat up a little bit here now like i said villagers can trade uh and villagers can actually naturally spawn if there's enough doors and closed locations in an area this is one of the naturally spawning houses i'll go ahead and show off a few of them they like to they like to breed obviously in darker places just like people would or whatever yeah and this is it's actually pretty cool oh wait i wonder if we can go up in this one yeah let's do that and so that people oh, sometimes they're trapped up in there and it's really funny because they just stay up in there oh Okay, so these guy, this guy has bookcases, but we don't have an axe with us because remember we need books. So why don't we go back to home? We'll get our axe and we'll we'll, we'll borrow these these books from this guy because he I don't think he's gonna be using them anytime soon. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and look through. So oh, there's carrots here. Uh, let's remember that we don't need to grab the carrots now. I'm just grabbing the potatoes for now because potatoes are one of the better food sources um, in the game. Give me a second here and I will tell you the exact numbers. So the reason why we collect the potato is because of the baked potato. The baked potato. Oh, and oh yeah, that's something new that the villagers do. They farm up crops and they pick them up, and then and then sometimes I don't know if they drop them for you or what. But see, they they farm the crops themselves too. So so that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a new thing that's been added to 1.8. I can't believe that we actually got one to do it out here. That's awesome. Um. Anyway, so baked potatoes, uh, which are just potatoes that you put in the furnace with some coal uh end up doing five healing so uh or not five it's uh, it's three it's three hunger ticks so i think it's six i think it's six ticks but i'm not for sure I, it said five though anyway so it's about the same as bread except for the difference is is that this uh is a lot a lot easier to harvest and you get a much more plentiful compared to the wheat the wheat, obviously, you gotta do three pieces of wheat for one piece of bread, and this you can you can you can dig up one piece of um one one like potato 
patch and get like three potatoes out of it. So it's just a lot more efficient uh, over time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plant this at our current farm, which is pretty cool uh, that we had this area set up for this. I think I want to go back to the village, or I will if I, if I think of anything else we need. Um, I think there was something that I spotted out of the corner of my eye, but I didn't really I didn't really bring it up. Uh, we'll go back in, in a little bit, or maybe another day, um, to go check that out. But yeah, so now we have potatoes growing, which is absolutely amazing. But like I said... Um, I'm a little bit afraid of falling off of this, so why don't we go ahead and create a way um, to make that a little bit more safe. Now you'll remember, as I said, um, that when I cleaned this up, I took out a lot of jungle wood, and so we have a lot of jungle wood in reserve that should be in our woods chest, which is here. Uh, see that? Whoa, three stacks of jungle wood. So let's go ahead and take just a couple stacks, or uh, I guess most of the stacks. Whoa, that was an enderman. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he, he landed in water. Wait, where'd he go? Because if we kill them, we can get our, our stuffs, our, our ender pearls to go to the end. Hup! Where are you? I hear him. Pardon me. I just... There you are. I would just like your pearls. Uh-huh. Got him. Oh, and we got a pearl. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so let's go back into the house now. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, and so, oh, actually, you know what? While we're down here, we can actually start building. Let's go and put away this ender pearl so I don't accidentally teleport with it. Um, that's a feature that I don't believe I've shown off yet, but I, I, I want to save them up because we may end up needing every ender, ender pearl we find. We may not have an excess like, uh, like the dream would suggest. So let's go ahead and... Um, come up here. Now, I want to make the pillars out of the jungle wood, but remember that that will go away. This strip right here will go away when we expand onto the farm further down, if we do that. So let's go ahead and go directly under it. Now, pro tip, if you look straight up, that means that this block is the one that will be the pillar right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I, I was contemplating on whether to make it one by one or two by two uh the pillar now i know that doesn't make much sense right now oop there's water here apparently no problem we will uh <laughs> get this all sorted there we go and there we go okay now let's go ahead and like that now let's go ahead and look at this from a distance oh it's becoming nighttime you know what let's let's go to sleep and then we'll go look at it from distance and we'll decide whether or not we want it to be two by two or do we'll leave that one one block pillar up all right, and there we are. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this. You see that? I just think that looks kind of awkward. Like it's just like it, it would barely hold that up. So I think we're gonna try. We're gonna try the uh, the other ones there. Let's go ahead and jump off here. Actually, uh, you remember that scene in Tarzan um, where he like runs past all the all the monkeys, and then he and then he screams, and then he jumps in, and then there's. Elephants if you know what I'm talking about. I'm impressed because I just I mumbled over that whole thing But he's like ah, 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 And then he goes sploosh and then he comes up on the elephants and he's like now If you know what I'm talking about <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and um Let's go ahead and try these other two pillars now what we can do is we can make it look like um Actually what we're going to want to do now that I think about it. And I don't have an axe. And we got to go get the bookshelves. Ah. Okay. What? Well, okay. I want it to actually be a pillar that is over here. Because if the farm is expanding. Uh, I know this is weird. But if the farm is expanding. What we're going to want to do. There we go. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have two here as well. If that makes sense. Probably not. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and get an axe this time. And I'll be right back with you guys once we are back here. Where's that boat? I'll go grab this boat, actually. Uh, yeah, and we'll be right back when uh, when I'm back here and I fix this atrocity. Okay, are you ready? I'm going to try to James Bond it. Ready? Oh, yeah! Look at that! Ah, oh, so good. Okay, I'll be I'll back, I'll back to it. Okay, and we've just finished this now. I'm going to try to not take damage like this. Ah, oh, sweet, so good, so good. Okay, so now we did the two by the two by two pillar, and let's go ahead and take a look. Actually, you know, what? before we go ahead and take a look, I would like to place an identical pillar right 
here. So I'll just take out these two just so it matches, kind of. You'll see it from a distance. It won't be super important up close, but uh, it's supposed to look like it's another support. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, come on. Hup, nice. Okay. So yeah, so now it looks like a pillar. I'll go ahead and go back far away and we'll show you guys. And that's the sturdy look that I was really looking for. Oh, hold on, I'll, I'll stop eating and get all these pixels out of your face first, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's the sturdy look I was going for. As you can see, it looks like a much stronger structure now. But what I want to do f with it uh, to complete it is I actually want to go ahead and give it a way to uh, protect you from falling off. So if we go ahead and make our traditional fences. Now remember that the fence recipe has changed because we are in 1.8. Uh, I believe the recipe is what now? Like this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make a ton of fence, not like the whole amount of wood that we have, but this should be good for now at least, and then we'll see how much we need in the end. And then what we'll do is we'll take this stuff and let's just go ahead and line this up with the bridge. Just like this. And we'll do it all the way down. Um, this one, and then this one is going to need... Wait, should we do two? Yeah, we should do two there, and then one here. Awesome. I'll be right back. And there we go. You see now, as I back away, it looks a little bit more safe. It looks a little bit more professional. Um, and we'll go ahead and go on it, and we'll, I'll show you guys what I did. I, I basically made it so that no matter where we walk... Even if we walk right up against this, there's no way you can push off by just walking. You'd have to jump and really, really maneuver it. Um, but yeah, I really like the look of this. Um, if you have a better suggestion, I mean, go ahead and go ahead and lay it on me because I, I honestly like the look of this. I know the jungle wood is kind of uh, too repetitive, uh, or it's been used a lot. Not, it's not too repetitive, but it's been used a lot. Um, and if you guys want to see it in a different color wood and to see maybe how that looks, I'm completely fine with that. Go ahead and leave your suggestions down below. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this stuff back in. Actually, we, we like to carry a little bit of wood on us. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take this axe, remember, back to the village and um, and borrow those bookshelves. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the idea with villages, uh, they're pretty awesome. This is a well. There's usually a well in a village. There's there's always farms in the village, just about always. The odds are that you will get farms. Um, now, what is unfortunate about this village is I have not seen yet a, um, a blacksmith's house or, or even a blacksmith in the town, and those are the ones where you get pretty cool loot. Oh, 21 books. Look at that. That is amazing. That is really, that is a lot of books. That's really cool. Um, yeah, so... What you, who's who's opening doors over here, huh? You opening doors? What do you got to trade? Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't even notice. The, the, the title is up at the top. So this is a librarian. Oh, efficiency three. That's actually a pretty good one. So the, some see some houses have these nice backyards with fences, uh, and zombie and and villagers can become zombies. They they close their doors and stuff, but obviously doors can be breaking down by zombies. So they look out for that. There's our butcher. Sorry, I'm just looking at the names now. Oh, there's a leather worker now. Cool. Uh, what, a, what a crazy trade. Are you kidding me? So I can give you 12, 12, of, the, <laughs> 12 of these and get and get one emerald. Or I can make, what is it, one of these and give you no emeralds. <laughs> what a crappy trade. So basically what it is is 7 times 4 is 28. But 28 of these they only give you two emeralds for it so it's not a very good trade i think this trade is really awesome get rid of rotten or get rid of rotten flesh and uh <laughs> sorry about that get rid of rotten flesh and turn it into into a currency another librarian you see and the the blacksmith usually has a cape on uh like like these guys right here except for black uh let's go ahead and look at the cleric cleric trades yeah okay so, there, like I said, there was something else that I wanted to see while we were out here. Oh, shepherd. Oh, I didn't know there were shepherds. That's why there's sheep around here. Cool. This is it. Here we go. These are the things that I spotted uh, a little bit further away. As you can see, there's a couple horses over here. Uh, so, uh, apparently there are only two horses right now. Uh, one with spots and one without. Now, sp now, horses can spawn. There's donkeys. There's all this good stuff. Let's, wait, what's that? Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, okay, so there's two horses here. Um... Go ahead and vote which one you guys want. Uh, I don't know that they'll still be here when we if we come back. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, I don't know which one you guys would like, and we're gonna we're gonna pick a name out for them and everything. But for right now, I think we're uh, we're just gonna admire them from a distance while we don't have a saddle. Uh, but we will do our best to go ahead and try to find one in a dungeon very soon. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the house, uh, and we'll see how many books we have now, and see if we're any bit closer to that enchanting goal. Okay, so as you can see, we're back in the house. Nighttime is falling on us once again. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our natural chest. Okay, so we needed 45 books to make our oh, our bookshelves, and we have 45 books. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and grab some sleep, and then we will go ahead and make our bookshelves and place them down in our enchantment area. That is super cool. We can see if the uh, the, the new colors work and all that good stuff as well. I'm, I'm very excited about this because that is just going to make that room look so much better without the that all that stone exposed. Remove that stone. Um, let's go ahead and go to the woods chest. We'll take the spruce. We'll go ahead and turn it into our planks, correct? Oh, wait. Did we use spruce wood? Wait. If we don't have the right color wood, that's going to make me... We don't have the right color wood. Are you kidding me? Okay, so... <laughs> so now all we got to do is gotta go get the right, the right color wood. No problem. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back, you guys, with, with that right color wood, or we'll, we'll have to go get it. Oh, actually, I was wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad we still have some. <laughs> okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and, uh, what, three times, so 45, we're going to need 90 pieces of wood. 90 planks. Is that going to be enough? Nope, not near it. That is 88. So we need one more log. Are you serious? Okay. There we go. Okay, now we got to grab our books. And let's go ahead and make these guys now. 15 across, right? And then boom, boom. And then boom, boom, awesome. And okay, so the bookshelves don't change colors. I thought that you could use different colors of wood for different colored bookshelves, but it doesn't appear to be so, which is not a big deal. I think this will still look nice in this room. Let's go ahead and lay these down. So remember, we're gonna do this and then, oh, you know what? I was wrong. We, we are gonna make 16 books. No, okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't salvage uh, a little bit of this uh, sugar cane. Oh, there's enough sugar cane to make a book. Okay, good. Or th we got to make three books, though. Oh, come on. Is that going to be enough? Please be enough. I think we might be one short. I'll grab that. Oh, wait. We might have one too many now. Two too many. There we go. Let's go ahead and see if this works. Boom. Okay, we have nine pieces of paper. Now, nine pieces of paper will go into three books, and then three books will go... Oh, yes, we have the right number. Awesome. Good to know. I'll be right back, you guys, once we're, once we're just there. Here we go, and we are making our final bookshelf right here. This is so cool. I can't believe we got this done. This is such a big thing off the list. Now we just need the enchantment table. But there we go. Now we have uh, all 16 bookshelves. We're going to put the enchantment table right there, and it's going to look absolutely amazing. Oh, we have to look at our list, by the way. We decorated the nether portal, so we can take that down now. Uh, and we, oh, we found a village, so we can take that down now. Bridge to the cows, we need to do that still. Start decorating, we haven't done that. Start other animal farms, we kind of started that, but it's not enough to take it down. Enchanting, we're not completely finished on it because we don't have a, um, an enchantment table yet. And then finally, what I want to do is, I want to make one more thing. I think we have enough iron for it, but let's go ahead and cook this stuff. Now, the thing we're making, it is called... Uh, we don't need to put that much in there. The thing we're making it is called an anvil. Now, anvils can be used for multiple different things, um, including combining or, or, or repairing tools without having to combine them. So let's go ahead and make. You're going to need three of these blocks, and you can name you can name tools and stuff uh, like that. You can combine different. Um, you can com you can combine different different enchantments to go together on on a weapon or you can add new enchantments to a weapon and all that good stuff it's very cool now I, the reason why i wanted to make it is because this is a very vital part of enchanting so i want to put it somewhere in here uh, i don't i don't really want to uneven it so i think we're gonna put it right there i think that's pretty cool it's nice and in the corner right there uh, and then see we can use it this is just interface uh, you can obviously name a tool anything you want even without a name tag i believe if it's like a sword or something, but if it's 
if it's uh, just about anything else, you do need to use a name tag for it. It costs it, it costs experience. You can see we have 30 levels of, of experience. Now, 30 levels is a perfect number for enchanting because you can fully enchant one piece of anything with 30 experience. Remember, I told you that we can go mining for quartz uh, if we're going to be doing the enchanting uh, to get a lot of experience very quick, which obviously I'll leave off of screen. Uh, yeah, and so that's a basic rundown. If you guys enjoyed the episode today, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and maybe catch up on the episodes. Leave a comment down below. Um, let me know if you guys think that we should probably change something maybe about this. And have a great day.